this morning to recognize, and it's one of the people that's in this room, and you see I have a lot of people with me, as uh, representing Arcadia Unified School District um, as the Teacher of the Year, which means not only do they represent the entire district, but they move on um, to represent us at the county and the state and maybe the national level. What I've learned in my career, and it was as true the first day as I started teaching to the day now, and it's also as true for kids as it is for adults. And it's this simple saying, people don't care what you know until they know that you care, period. So you start with all the things I mentioned before, but now what I've learned in my career is that if you can't connect with people and demonstrate that you care about them, intimately care about them and want them to succeed and want the very best from them, you're not gonna be successful as a teacher. And one of the things that's always been fascinating to me is when I do surveys, when I was principal here, we'd ask kids, who's your favorite teacher? It was never the easiest teacher. It was never the easy A that kids said. It was always that teacher that believed in them, but pushed them beyond what they ever thought was possible. And that's the magic that we call teaching. So with that, if you start looking at all these boxes, it just adds up, and it's a really easy decision for me, and I'm glad I get to share it with you that I am honored to share with you that our Teacher of the Year is Ms. Ashley Miller. intentions of leaving. I loved it there. And I just started a speech and debate program. And I was in the credential program with Miss Summers. Summers Sensei? Anyone? Summers Sensei? She's a Jeff, there you go. There. <laughs> and she invited me to come and have lunch here. This was in 1999. And I set foot on the campus and I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. Across from it. Golf course. The wittiest posters I'd ever seen for, I think it was ASB elections, and I just thought, what an amazing place. So during lunch, I sat next to Mrs. Lee, Leslie Lee, who was at the time the speech and debate coach. And she said, oh, I do not want to do this anymore. And I went, oh, really? <laughs> because I was just starting to recruit. And then that same day, I walked across the campus to the district office and I got an application. And then two weeks later I was hired. I mean it was that fast and that unexpected. And in the fall I started and it was a complete zoo. I had no idea what I was doing. There were at least 150 of you guys on the team and I was just completely winging it. And I made friends in the league, all the coaches that nag about from the other schools are really actually my dearest friends <laughs> and every single year it gets better and better and better and the hard moments are really hard but the joyous moments outshine everything and it's all you guys like you know a lot of people say how can you, how can you do this and like what do you mean how can i not there's so much fun to be had with you guys especially with your you know, your charm and your wit and your intelligence and the fact that you want to do this on a weekend to get a little plastic trophy is just so embarrassing. <laughs> All of you guys who worked so hard last weekend, I can't thank you enough. I also can't thank my scooter enough because it saved me. <laughs> um, I can't believe I set all this up without me knowing. <laughs> I was supposed to be in school. What happened? <laughs> all right. I don't really know what else to say. Again, congratulations.
congratulations and thanks, Justin.